someone requested comparing Sway, Hyperlind, i3WM, and LibreOffice. Three are Linux tiling window managers. One, an office suite for documents and spreadsheets. Like comparing car engines to a sandwich. I mean, I don't know it yet, like... Coffee, spelled backwards, is e -foc, which is funny, because until I've had my coffee, I don't give e -foc about anything. Same energy, buddy, because until I've studied this thing, I don't give e -foc about anything they say. But this confusion reveals something important about the Linux desktop, right? People see these names in forums and don't understand what they actually do. So let me explain each one and why mixing them up is a problem. Tiling window managers automatically arrange windows into non-overlapping tiles. No mouse dragging, no manual resizing. Everything's keyboard shortcuts. i3WM, Sway, and Hyperlind all do this, but get this, they work on different display protocols. Linux is transitioning from X11 to Wayland. X11 has existed since 1984. 1984. Wayland is the modern replacement. This matters because your choice depends on which protocol you need. So i3WM, right? The original for X11. Launched 2009, stable for 15 years. 15 years. Massive community. Every problem solved and documented online. If you want tiling on X11, i3 is proven. Sway is i3 ported to Wayland. Designed for i3 compatibility, your config files mostly work unchanged. Same shortcuts, same workflow. Conservative updates prioritizing stability. Love i3 but need Wayland? Sway is logical. Hyperlind is built for Wayland from scratch with visual effects. Animations, blur, rounded corners, extensive customization. The community? They love gorgeous aesthetics with tiling efficiency. Well, la, di, da. But Hyperlind is bleeding edge. Frequent updates, occasional breaking changes. Listen, one developer used Sway four years. Four. Switched to Hyperlin for screen sharing, then switched back within three weeks. Three, because presentations didn't work. <laughs> Hyperlin doesn't support all i3 layouts. Only default and dwindle. Need tabbed layouts? Install plugin HY3. Works until Hyperlin updates and breaks it. I played these games before! I said I played these games before! Screen sharing has issues, right? Sway struggled with window selection for years, years. Open issue since 2021, no solution. Hyperlind handles it better, but full screen presentations on ultra wide monitors, problems for both. Display mirroring is worse. Sway doesn't support it natively. Bug open since 2018. 2018. Workaround needs WL mirror tool. Hyperland supports it. Basic features require workarounds depending on your choice. All three are lightweight. Minimal resources because they're not running file managers, system trays, or desktop blome. You install exactly what you need separately. Appeals to people wanting control. But control requires knowledge. Manual configuration for everything. Status bars, screen locking, Wi-Fi connections through command line. Experienced users love it. People expecting Windows convenience? <sighs> Overwhelming. VSync matters, right? Users report screen tearing disappeared on Wayland even with VSync disabled. X11 tearing? Problematic for years. Years. Wayland fixes this inherently. NVIDIA compatibility creates issues. Multiple users report problems with Hyperland on NVIDIA hardware. Wayland and NVIDIA drivers clash. AMD and Intel work fine. Running NVIDIA? X11 with i3WM remains most stable. Community support differs dramatically. i3WM has 15 years, 15 years of documentation. Sway inherits this. Hyperland? Smaller community. Discord described as non-serious. Wiki search so bad people use Reddit instead. Emotional, damn it! <laughs> now LibreOffice. This is where comparison becomes nonsensical. LibreOffice is office productivity software. Writer, calc, impress, draw, base, math. Software you run inside whatever window manager you choose. LibreOffice works identically whether you're using i3, Sway, Hyperland, Gnome, KDE, 
Windows, or Mac OS. Window managers are infrastructure. LibreOffice is an application. Comparing them is like comparing your car engine to GPS. Different purposes entirely, period. LibreOffice competes with Microsoft Office and Google Workspace. Free, open source alternative. Over 400 million downloads. 400 million since 2011. Germany migrating 30,000 PCs, 30,000 to it by 2026. The 2024 releases added features, right? Navigator improvements, new spreadsheet functions, faster XLSX opening, encryption, metadata removal. No telemetry unlike Microsoft 365. Interface feels dated. Memory issues with large spreadsheets. Excel macros not fully supported. But it's free, offline capable, and private. Good for individuals, schools, businesses, and governments avoiding subscriptions. Here's the real comparison. Need word processing? Compare LibreOffice to Microsoft Office. Need Window Manager? Compare i3WM to Sway to Hyperland. Don't mix categories. Want X11 stability with maximum community support? i3WM. Need Wayland with i3 workflow? Sway. Want Wayland with animations accepting instability? Hyperland. And guess what? All three, all three run LibreOffice perfectly because LibreOffice doesn't care about window managers. This categorically confused comparison suggests misunderstanding of Linux components or testing whether creators research properly. Comparing window managers to Office software is technically incoherent. Like comparing house foundation, wiring, plumbing to refrigerator. Three are infrastructure, one is appliance. If this saved you from nonsensical comparison video, perfect. Linux has enough legitimate comparisons. No need comparing infrastructure to applications, seriously. Hey, Mark here. <clears throat> okay, look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products and I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might roast next week. That would be awkward. If this review helped you out or saved you from wasting money, here's how you can support what we're doing. First, I've put the link to this product in the description. If you buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second, there's another link down there that goes straight to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it and use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or restocking on toilet paper. A tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. It's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. All right, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there.